Hey guys, I'm Shannon from Patriot Memory. I'm the marketing manager in USA. And today we're gonna to take a look at the Patriot Memory booth, starting with our new high performance DRAM, the Patriot Viper Extreme 5 DDR5. It goes from 7600, 7800 up to 8000. Comes with three profiles to ensure compatibility. So three speed bins down from the top one. And you also will see that we have many overclocking records already coming through on it. And there will be many more to come along with 24 and 48 gigabyte based modules in order to enhance compatibility with more systems and allow for more overall capacity along with capability and scalability with our overclocking adventures with this memory. Next up, we have our next new entry, which is the new mainstream DDR5, or Elite 5. This comes from um, a speed of 5600 up to 7000 mega transfers per second, and that allows for both AMD um, Expo and Intel XMP. AMD Expo is only available up to 6200, but we also are offering 24 and 48 gig modules on this, uh, which will be coming very soon. And this should be launching in the standard 16, uh, like 32 and uh, gig kits coming up within the next uh, few weeks. So you'll see that shortly after Computex. Then we have the mainline modules that we've launched when DDR5 first launched, which was the Viper Venom. And that starts at 5200, goes all the way up to 7400. So it bridges the gap between the Elite 5 and the Extreme 5. Now, we also have the other mainstays, like for example, our Patriot and Patriot Signature, like our Signature and Signature Premium. Those are our JDEC based modules. We have those in both SODIM and full size RDIM. That allows you to have full compatibility for systems you just want drop-in replacements. And then you have all the trusty um, ones you've seen around for a while, like our Viper 4, our Viper Elite 2, and all the other ones that you have available from Patriot Memory for all of your tweaking and tuning needs. Next up at the Patriot Memory booth, we have our SSDs. Starting with the highlight of the show, something that's gotten us two major awards already. We've gotten a Best of Computex 2023 from Tom's Hardware and a Best of Computex from WCCF Tech. This is the PV553. This is a PCIe Gen 5 SSD with an ultra slim active cooler that will keep it from throttling even when placed under something like a hot graphics card. That means that you'll get full non-throttling, just great performance straight across the board with up to 12.4 gigabytes a second and it'll um, read and 11 point, actually 11.8 gigabytes a second right. And this is our full featured high-end drive. This will be our first PCIe Gen 5 drive that we offer. Now the fastest, latest, and greatest, like the PV553, is super impressive, but we're also working on something that normally takes much longer, and that's a DRAM, uh, DRAM-less solution, which normally comes much after the launch of a drive. So this you might see like a year down the road. We're kind of really working on developing it and fine-tuning it right now, but we do actually have a DRAM-less Gen 5 solution in order to fulfill the needs for users that would be able to best be able to fit that without needing what the PV553 can offer. And then beyond that, you have all of our normal standard, like our VP4300, which we actually did an update to. We now have a VP4300 Lite, which carries all of the same characteristics except being DRAMless. So it'll actually be an optimal solution for a game storage drive, along with a great upgrade for PS5. That will be launching in a few weeks as well, so just shortly after you probably see this video, uh, right after Computex 2023, this will be coming to market and it'll be a great drop-in uh, addition for your PS5 game storage or for any game storage on a PC with up to 7400 megabytes a second read and just a slight touch lower at 6400 megabytes a second right because once you saturate that cache, it will exceed it. That's why you wanna make sure you make the right choice, which you can always talk to Patriot, we'll help you pick it out. Otherwise, beyond that, you have all the standards you're used to seeing, like the P400, P400 Lite, along with even our Gen 3 drive, so that we have best compatibility with as many systems as possible. Now we move to our modding section. This is where we do some really fun stuff, you know, take and modify things, make it really cool. Kind of what we equip most gamers and enthusiasts to do. By uh, Cam Studio and uh, we'll see Montek soon, you see this custom mod using Viper Extreme 5 along with a VPR 400. That is our world's first Gen 4x4 RGB SSD. He made a custom case here. Amazing work by this gentleman. Just absolutely outstanding, got a lot of attention during the show. We want to show this off because it's a really cool partnership for us. And there's also another cool partnership we want to show, and that's with our, our partners at Razer. Basically, they gave us one of their big laptops because we wanted to showcase our new DDR5 SODIMs along with the, the fact that you can throw in something like a VP4300 for the absolute maximum performance and expandability, even in a mobile platform like this. That enables you for maximum gaming or anything else that might be a high intensity workload where you need a massive amount of memory or storage. 
Now moving over to some of the more interesting things we've been working on, we actually uh, previewed this at CES and we're still working on it. This is the Viper CPU cooler. You can expect we're really trying to get this out around Q3, but it really depends because we're working on a lot of optimizations for it to make it the best product possible before we put it out, especially since it's the very first CPU air cooler that Patriot's going to make. So we do not want it to be like something that's not the absolute best we can offer because that's really the Patriot standard that we set. And the same thing, we, uh, as we move over here, you'll see that we have an external M2 SSD dock, which is 10 gigabit, so a little over a thousand megabytes a second, sequential transfers uh, capable over USB-A or USB-C. You drop in your own SSD and you can pretty much be off to the races to have massive amounts of storage on the go. Okay, next up, we're adding to our flashcard series, we, we got to UHS-2. We spent some time cooking this up, full 300 megabytes per second read and up to 260 megabytes per second write with equi properly equipped cameras, ones that can handle the extra pins and do the UHS-2 transfer rate. This thing's on the market now, actually. This is one of the fastest SD cards that you can get on the market that is in the SD, uh, SDXC UHS-2 format. And then next to it, we also have a USB device here, our supersonic, Rage uh, Duo. This is a slider type, so it can slide between USB-A, USB-C. This has 400 megabytes a second up and down, or read and write. This is uh, comes up to one terabyte capacity and is universally compatible between Mac, uh, PC, as long as you leave the standard format that will be compatible between both. Lastly, at the Patriot Memory Booth at Computex 2023, we have our ACPI group. This is our industrial division of Patriot Memory. Most people don't even realize we offer this. This is our OEM and ODM business where we do everything from embedded government, high uptime, high reliability, high endurance products made for everything from machinery, uh, embedded uh, tablets, uh, point of sale kiosks, and pretty much everything else in between. It has all of the, what you'd expect for SSDs, uh, DRAM types for these type of applications, including ECC modules, and even compact flashcards, and even some partnerships with uh, places like Scaleflow, where we are able to make very large expandable solutions that will meet all of the enterprise uses we could ever imagine. And that's it from Patriot Booth at Computex 2023. We want to send a special thanks to our, our partner Interbox, who helped us with shooting this video. Be sure to give them a like down below, subscribe, and to check out all the details in the description below. And thank you for joining us here at the Patriot Memory Booth at Computex 2023.